Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Fox, 1701. Hello out there in Fallout Wasteland. And I wanted to share this video with you. This is uh, another fix the roof option. It's just an option, as you know, when you fix the roofs. You know, when you have all these buildings in Sanctuary, they have lots of leaks and stuff. So you could put a ceiling in and fix the roof. I want to credit No Respawns for giving me the original idea for this. He's got lots of great videos out there. Find him on the internet. Find him in YouTube. You see lots there. What I want to do is have some overhang here. I'm going to do a little bit of overhang on each end here. I'm going to do a little bit of overhang on that side. And I want to do a little bit over on this side. Now, just remember, this is just an option. You can do it any way you want. So what I want to do is how wide is this? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six floorboards long, the house, to cover from the carport over to the other side. And we're going to count one, two, three, four floorboards wide. And so let's go in and see where we're going to place this. We could go in the corner here. But that metal post there causes some trouble a lot of times. Same with this metal post here. Plus, there's some furniture here that I just soon keep, and it's going to interfere with that. I'd rather keep this furniture. I wish we could get rid of the fans. I wish we could get rid of the rubble. I want to rake up leaves and everything. Please, let us allow us to get rid of the garbage. Anyway, I'm coming in here, and I've got, I'm going to cover this window here. I think this looks like a good spot. I'm going to cover this window. I'm going to mount everything in that corner there. So let's run out back outside here. And one, two, three, four floorboards over. You see that's the window I'm going to cover over there. So that's where I'm going to put my wall. For those of you familiar with this method from No Respawns and others, you know how to do this. I just got a slight variation. Now there's the chimney. There's the chimney up there. We want to make sure that our next floor up is uh, glitching through that. So it's one, two, three over. And so we want to make sure that we have a roof on this, a, a next floor up that will glitch through the chimney. And you can see that the chimney is right in the middle there. One, two, and right in the middle of that, right in there. So we want to make sure that we have a, at least a floorboard up. All right, let's go over here. I've pre-made this so, so I don't waste your time. And there's a small floorboard there with the wall on it. And um, getting that set up. And you can see there's my upper floor shack. Let's go up here. And you can see here that uh, it is four across. I've taken out this last corner here on purpose, put in this thing. I put in two small floorboards with this wall and shack thing on purpose. You can change this stuff out if you want. Because once you put this in, you can't remove, you can't change anything. So I'm trying to anticipate all of my desires up front. There's my wall. There's the uh, floorboards that will go into the chimney. There's the wall on the third floorboard over. This here, there, the chimney will be glitching right through there. And let's put some more floorboard shack floors down and we're going to put in these walls here. I'm putting them in now, trying to anticipate if I want some walls. Because remember, this is going to glitch through a, the metal part. There's a over there on the floor of that uh, carport, there's some metal sticking up and you can add these later. So we're trying to put these in now. I can always remove them. I just can't add them later. So let's, uh, here's my variation. Here's what, here's the kind of thing I want to do. I just want a slight variation here. I'm going to throw in here and we'll go from there. So we're going to take this upper shack floor out for a moment. What I want to do is move this wall over. I want to move this wall to the middle here. I want to put it right here in the middle. So I'm going to put a small floorboard in here for spacing purposes. I'm going to shove that right there. Take my upper shack wall, my shack upper floor there. Put it back. Move this thing out of the way. Take this wall and move it over so that it attaches to that shack upper floor. Go up here, let's take out this, that thing. We don't need that. Put this back. And uh, you can see now 
that my wall is one half back, so it will hang out over the edge. I want it to hang out over the edge. Uh, others that do this a lot of times, they don't want the ceiling to show. I want it to stick out, and that's the option here. Then you can do some things with it. You can play with it, and you'll see. Again, that piece is in there because I won't be able to change it later. So it's on the corner. It'll be right there on the corner with the, maybe a guard house or something. And you can see that those two boards are going to cover the carport. So I think I'm ready to um, bring this in. Let's put down my piece of carpet here. And of course, I find out that I'm not ready here in a second, as you will see. I like to save. I always like to save before I pick this thing up because you just never know. If I have to move this and redo it, there's a bunch of furniture in that house and I'll pick up all the furniture, so I can't. I only want to do this once. So I'm saving just in case. So I go to pick this thing up and you notice it turns red immediately. Well, that shows that something's wrong and guess what? I forgot to take my ladder out and fill in the gap there. I go back here, take my ladder out, it's in the way, and fill in this gap. Now normally I don't fill in the middle gap. I just don't. I save wood by not doing that. And I, because on the next floor up, I'm filling in the next floor up, so it serves my rain purpose. It serves the purpose of stopping the rain, but I'm doing it now because, well, some people might cringe, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. All right, so I save again because I messed up, which I often do. Oh, there's Chloe, my character. Let's pick this up. You hold down A, you click on the mat, and you hold A down. It picks up the whole thing, and you saw that it was green when I touched it. It was fine. If it's red, it's not going to work, but if it's green, great. Bring it in here, and I've done this a few times, so I know that I'm not going to be against the wall on the right there. I want to go over uh, kind of far over here. I want to put it roughly there. I've done this a few times. In fact, this is probably about the third time I've tried to make this video. So I'm going to sit it right there. By the way, I am on Xbox. I'm doing all, everything with no mods. And I'm making this video using the Xbox, so I have no editing software on my PC or anything. And uh, frankly, I'm just learning how to do this, so please bear with me. So I'm going to run outside here. I placed my wall, run outside and make sure it looks, ah, that look, that's pretty good. It's not sticking out or anything. That looks great. So let's see here. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Pull these out because I'll probably end up running into them. And you can see that I do have an overhang. Grab this ladder, which I put there previously, trying to save some time. As it is, this video went longer than I wanted it to. And we got this little edge here to run along, and it's pretty tight there, which I wanted. I want it to be fairly close over there. That's why I moved it over to the left when I installed it. Go over here. You can see the walls here. And you can, let's see, we can put in some, uh, let's fill in, start filling in the floorboards here. Put in the shack upper floors, especially on the outside. I'm always, I want to use the shack upper floors on the outside because then you can attach walls to it easily and you won't have a gap. Uh, usually on the inside I put in the thinner floors actually and you know what it doesn't make any difference because it's the same amount of wood which I think is pretty funny that it's the same amount of wood for a shack upper floor which is thicker than a regular floorboard but it's the same amount of wood. I always thought I'd be saving wood, but you're not. So let's put these floorboards out. So in this place here, I've got a half a thing here. So I'm going to just, since I've got a half floor there, so I'm gonna put in one of these, one of these walls that uh, just for the heck of it, and I fell down. I always fall down, it seems like. And move that over there. I'm going to put in some, some of the thinner boards, even though I don't need to. It's the same amount of wood. So I'm finishing up the flooring. And I'm putting that in there. And I don't know why, because I find out later I'm out over the edge, but it doesn't matter. Let's put the thinner floorboards in here. It doesn't matter, but... I don't know, it, it appeals to my in-game conservation that I want to do. I always try to I always try to think of myself, I'm really doing this in the game, and so I want to save wood as, if, if I can, because scrounging for wood is not easy. 
Okay, so again, I'm going to put in the upper shack floor on the outside so I don't have any gaps. Lay all this stuff down. And of course, now I realize that, wow, I've gone one, one floorboard over that I don't need to take this away. And I'm going to put in a ladder to act as my stairway. Put that up against that wall there. And I can come up here easily. You see I have this side wall here. I can keep that. Looks halfway decent. All right, so what do we got? Come out here. Yeah, let's see. We can put in a doorway, which we can't because these are in the way. So let's get this stuff out of the way here. Pull these out. There's a doorway, and you could attach it to that. Now, you know, the overhang, you can attach walls to this now. It doesn't work very well in that one spot, that first spot here. It works better here. And now I'm going to see if I can put some floorboards in here. Oh, look at that. It's glitching right through there. Oh, maybe not. Will it? Will it? It did, but then, I, then it attached to back there. Oh, it glitched through the wall there. That's nice. If you do this, sometimes if you lay these down and do it fast, it will clip right through everything. And this seems to be working pretty well. If I didn't have that cabinet there, I could probably uh, fit that in there possibly. Anyway, I throw down some floorboards here. I like to have my floorboards turn the same direction, but I'm not going to do all of them at the moment. Now I see, oh, and that's when I realize that I've got I'm one over and I don't need to be. Oh well, fix that later. So let's look at some walls here we can shove on here. It will attach to that overhang there. Get rid of this stuff. And I don't want to put that there after all because I'm going to do something else. So I'm selecting walls. I want to put down several different kinds of walls just to show that it, how different it would look. Pull that out. I'm going to put something else there. You'll see in a little bit and come over here and put this on the side just change some walls just for the variety i wish we had a few more i have found that one as i'm building it seems like even though i try to intersperse them and use different walls it still seems like wow there's still a lot of the same kind of thing especially the wooden window i mean you got a wooden window and then you got one with a blue blanket on it and that's it and uh, that's not all that great. Of course, now we have the new workshop, Wasteland Workshop DLC, so we'll have a little bit more variety. And frankly, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I wanted to get this out. So here I'm putting in my steps up to the upper floor, and this would be... So what I've got here is a house. I can use the whole house, and they can go out into the former garage and go upstairs, oh, this one won't fit. It won't go in there because if you put in one of those thicker walls, sometimes it interferes with those shack upper floors. I'll put that in there. Oh, goody, I leveled up. I wonder what perk I'm going to pick. Take a look at it, and let's put some more walls on here. Again, I'm doing this quickly just to show something. Replace that wall here that wouldn't work, and it won't go in there. It wants to clip to the other one, so guess what? Sometimes it's just better to just let it just let it stick there. Just let it go, and then you can put that wall in there and remove the other one. Sometimes it's just best to go ahead and put the wall there. Go around the back side, and we can add some more to the back. We could add. You could put more floorboards in there, by the way. I'm trying to, uh, this is for demonstration purposes, so I'm trying to make this fairly quick, quick, even though the video lasted longer than I thought it would. And you can put your little entranceway there and such. But anyway, you got a nice big room here. And you can go upstairs, you got a room up there. Well, let's, let's fix this. And actually, in hindsight, I would put that stairway over next to the wall, but whatever. Anyway, you can see these walls here, they're glitching through the, that bent metal there. Once you remove them, you can't put them back. So I, I just put them in there just in case I want them. I don't think I do. Here's a space here. Here's something else you can do with this. You can play with this. Um, trying to find where I want to go. Sometimes I get lost in the menu. Even though I've done it lots of times, I still get lost a little bit. Put these metal pieces in here. 
let's put the corner piece in and here's a little trick that I've learned um, let's put the corner piece in put that in there there we go here's a little trick I've learned if you want to come up in through one of these side walls like this you go and you need to lay down one of these small floorboards just lay that down there just come on there we go lay that down there and come outside and we're gonna put in a ladder because the ladder will clip to that floorboard I'm gonna put a small ladder here I know it's not permanent but I'm just putting it there just so I can run around now get rid of that floorboard and then select your wall piece and put it in this will work with pretty much any wall piece I'm using the metal one the curved metal one because that's my theme. I like the corner. I like the I, every once in a while. I like to put in a this corner like this. A, a couple of metal pieces in the metal corner piece. I just like it. It just it breaks it up a little bit. So I'm not using wood all the time. So anyway, I can come in here. I can come in that way, and it sticks out. And makes a nice little entrance way. And let's see. We can cover up this stuff here with a wall. We could put wall pieces here. Notice some of that metal from the original roof is sticking through. If you're far enough away from that, you can glitch through there. It will work. So let's see if we can. Oh, let me try one of these new concrete walls, and it doesn't seem to work. It's actually the first time I've gone into the new menu for the new DLC, so I have to play with that. Try another wall here. The thin wall. I love this wall. It's great. Trouble is, there's only one of them. I use that a lot and that's the problem it gets used a lot anyway we go here I can cover that other piece up later with some other bits let's go to the front here and use one of the um, one of these pieces one of these shack pieces here shack walls put this up here pick one now let's grab the window I know we got a window up above but yeah, let's do it along with the with the moon monkey sheet on there Stick that on there, put another one on here. Now, okay, well, it looks pretty cool. Oh, it's floating. Don't want it floating. It is floating. So we can fix that by first, I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, if you're going to do that, you need to put on the end piece first. Put the end piece on first. Otherwise, you'll probably have some collision problems with it. And notice that that end piece does have some wood that sticks out. Going to fence posts, go to the flat one. I'm glad they put the flat one not the spiky one but the flat bottom one at the front and if you get real close you could move that real close sometimes I'm not able to do it here but sometimes if you do this right you can glitch it literally glitch it into the into that a little bit and make it I can't do it here but it's pretty close it's close enough close enough for a visual that from a little bit distance away it looks like that that post is supporting the corner there and you could do whatever you want you can put more on here of course I'd put one in the center and on the end and then it looks like it's being held up I've seen others do this I I came up with it on my own but then I've seen others do this and so uh, you know great mind thinks alike, alike I guess I guess there are only so only so many solutions to problems and people come up with the same kinds of things there are I've noticed I've come up with several things and then I see them in videos later and so oh, okay others are also discovering the same type of things which makes sense because there's only so way so many ways of doing things anyway so I go in here now you got a nice big room you can add more to this you can put try to put some more boards down probably won't be able to there I'm leaving that cabinet because I want to have some of that stuff come upstairs and I fall and fall down the stairs I come up the stairs and I have a big room here in my other build I have that's actually the lobby of a hotel and I'll show that at some point you can put machine guns you can not put the walls in and put turrets up there machine gun turrets up there Here's a nice open area here you can use. You can walk in here and you put storage. Call this storage. Walk over there. Block that off. Whatever you want to do. It's just a variation on the fixing the roof theme. It is an option to fix the roof. Let's throw some more walls up here just to see what it's going to look like. 
as you continue to build up and you can keep building up and up as far as you want and then from the outside when you do this the house almost practically disappears and which I kind of like because the houses themselves look kind of funny anyway you can see what you can do with this I hope you enjoyed the video this is my first one and I uh, I hope you enjoyed it and there'll be